In this episode of the Iron Empire, we ring out a very, very soggy AU Fairlane. I accidentally drowned my car on Hamilton Road. Mark here. This time around, we're going to take a look at Andrea's AU Fairlane. Now, last month, we had an insane uh, storm here in Adelaide. We had flash flooding all over the state, and Andrea, on the way to my house, got stuck in some floodwaters on the way over. And unfortunately, well, let's take a look at what happened. All right, now we're on the side of the road, just near my house. As you can see, the conditions are perfect. Uh, I'm just pulling some plugs out of the uh, fair lane here while well, I'll let Andrea explain. Hey everyone, I accidentally drowned my car on Hamilton Road. A lot of rain come down, I couldn't really see and I was like, I'll oh, just drive through, it should be right. Um, and then next minute my car sunk and yeah. The motor is full of water. <laughs> you can see the water coming off that. So so I'm Sorry? Oh We're full of water, the car is you know, literally up to like our knees in the water in the car. Oh, that's so what's happened is this will be full of water. And there's water literally in the intake. Stop meant to have water in there. This is the last plug. Still full of water. Now we're going to turn this thing over and we're just going to get the camera on there and see if we get some water out of this thing. We're going to put these plugs back in. Hope it starts. You can see they're already rusty. See there's already heck? rust in it. Just from that? Yep. So I wanted to get it done ASAP so we have real force. sounding good we're just gonna limp this thing home but oh man Andrew's demo she absolutely loves this car look at it it's still full of water it was like literally like covering her feet inside the car <sighs> anyway don't far to limp it we'll assess this another day guys so you'll see me draped over the engine bay of this AU and I'm gonna give you a quick rundown on what's happened since you've last seen it so we ended up taking this thing to the car wash we gave it all a vacuum out and tried to suck up as much of the water as we could so that it didn't get all moldy and shitty inside we then took it to the mechanic that Andrea uses Jim um, absolute top bloke and we're going to basically assess what needed to be done come first thing Monday morning when Andrew could actually get a hold of um, Shannon's the insurance mob uh, they said no protocol for any car that's taken in water is it must be assessed by them so it got picked up by them and it then spent the oh, best part of a couple of weeks I guess now um, where they assessed the cars for water damage and it was promptly written off so this could be looked at in a good way or a bad way. So obviously the engine's taken on some water, so there's some internal damage there. Um, but when it comes to water inside a car with electrics, I think they pretty much just write off everything because 
they can't guarantee their work and that's what they want to do as an insurance mob. So they pretty much just write the car off. So Andy was um, desperate to get this car back. She absolutely loves this car and we had a pretty good result. So after assessing, they decided that yes, it is a write off and they offered it to her to buy it back and she ended up buying this car back for $300. So she is absolutely stoked with that. So we finally have the car back and now I'm gonna address the running issue. Now I think that there is a bent uh, push rod. Um, Andrea's other Fairlane, ZL Fairlane a little while back had a bent push rod, run like absolute junk. And um, I literally needed to replace two bent push rods and from then on it was perfect. So I'm hoping this is a similar scenario. So that's the weakest link in the, um, in the engine. So once you've got a, a load of water in, something's gonna give and I'm hoping it's a push rod. So I'm gonna start marking off everything on this engine bay so I don't lose track of what's what. We'll start pulling some things down, get these rocker covers off and see what we've got to play with. Okay, so after poking around under both of these valve covers, I found nothing. All of the push rods were perfect. All of the rocker gear was all operating properly. So unfortunately, it meant we had to dig a little further. Now, Jim, Andrea's mechanic, was kind enough to let the car come back down, help me assess and come up with a solution on how to fix this car. So that's why we started digging a little deeper. Okay, you'll now see we've found our culprit. Take a look over the other side here. This is a piston coming up to top dead center. It's around about zero deck height. Now looking at number eight at the back of the block here, this piston is down around three or four mil. We got ourselves a bent rod. the moral of this story don't drive through puddles kids okay guys so it is that time of year again but unfortunately this time around I have no more designs in the store I haven't updated the store um, everything is up to date with the stock but unfortunately I wanted to get a new design out, but we're gonna have to wait till next year for that. But if anyone wants to jump on the online store, pick up anything in time for Christmas, I'm gonna upgrade once again. All my shipping is gonna be going out the door express up until the 18th of December is the last chance to get anything out the door. So you will get it in time for Christmas. So if anyone wants to support the channel, um, send something to their loved ones or just treat themselves, please don't hesitate, check out the online store. I'll, I'll leave the details in the link right here or the description below. Um, yeah, once again, massive support to the channel. Everything is done DIY. It is all printed locally in Adelaide and then sent out from me, myself. Everything passed through my hands. This is a grassroots operation. Everything does support me greatly. So anyone wants to jump on, check that out. Um, the support goes a long way. I'll make sure everyone gets their stuff for Christmas. If not, thanks anyway. Let's get stuck in the back of this video. All right, so a bit of an update. We're out with the Fairlane. As you can see, the motor is out. Um, Number eight cylinder uh, took a hit. Hydro locked. Rods cactus, pistons cactus. Luckily, good old Mark from F100 Spares, Dad Lonsdale, had a couple of pistons. Um, these are obviously second hand, but they are still in reasonable shape. So I'm going to go through two piston options that I've got there, uh, find the best combination, clean it up all nice. We're gonna throw a set of bearings in this motor, put it all back together, new gaskets, and it should be good as gold. I do have a few things in the works for a few little upgrades, 
um, but until they eventuate, we won't talk about them just yet. But that's going to be it for now. Um, I've sort of cleaned everything, haven't done the heads or that for the motor itself, but all the bits and pieces. Um, Jim's just running to turn off the compressor. That, that's in my ear. Thanks, Jim. I think Jim just wanted to be on camera. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's gonna be it for now. Uh, the engine and heads and everything, I wanna clean all up, ready to rock and roll next week. But I've gotta get home and start editing this video, but I did not think we were gonna be anywhere near this far into this car. I was thinking it was gonna be like a, you know, a couple of bent push rods, put it back together and happy days. But unfortunately, it's a little worse than we're hoping, but nonetheless, we will save this car. This is Andrea's pride and joy. She absolutely loves this thing. Not as much as the Tirana, but this is her daily. She absolutely loves it, and we are going to save it. Hopefully. All right, guys, so that is going to be a wrap on this week's episode. A little bit all over the place. I didn't have my camera on me at a lot because it was just a lot of fault finding, and I was just sort of getting my head stuck into it. But as you can see, it blew out a lot further than we were hoping to, um, unfortunately, but that doesn't matter. We're going to make sure this car gets back on the road. Andrea loves the bloody car, and uh, it is a really cool thing, so we will fix that, get it back on the road, and you will see that in an upcoming episode. Until then, you're going to see a little bit more of this XF Falcon I'm now driving as a daily, because Andrea's got my car as a daily. <laughs> These are the things that we have to do when playing with junk cars, but it's all good fun. This is what we do for fun. And um, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, once again, check out the online store and I will see you all on an upcoming episode of the Iron Empire. Cheers, guys.